One of the advantages with the SmartVac HydroVac is that it is very quick to set up when you first get to a job. So this video starts as though the truck has just rolled up to a job site. The operator is turning on his truck, engaging his PTO, which sends power to the pumps for the machine. Once he's in position and done this, he just has to walk out of his truck, grab his remote controller from the other side of the cab, and do some quick setup, which you will see in just a second here. One of the unique things about the SmartVac is that it is totally computer controlled. This means that the machine has an onboard computer that does most of the job that an operator would regularly be required to do. This means that the SmartVac can be operated with just one operator. This makes it unique in a field of equipment where almost every other competitor requires at least two operators to do the same job. Here we see that our operator is just finishing up his initial setup by taking out his wash hose, grabbing his wash wand and attaching it. And now he's going to set up his boom. The operator does this by using the wireless remote that he has in his hand right now to set the boom into position so he can clamp on his dig tube. All of the vital functions on the SmartVac are controlled by this wireless remote. What this allows the operator to do is take the remote with him to the actual excavation location and operate all the important functions of the truck by himself from the digging location. While he is using this wireless remote controller, the truck itself is monitoring all of the onboard instrumentation to make sure that nothing is going wrong and that all of the pressures and temperatures are maintained at their optimal state. An important innovation that SmartVac has incorporated that allows us to do this is an emergency stop button on the wireless remote controller. This means that if anything ever goes wrong, the operator is able to immediately shut down the truck from the dig location. With his setup now finished, in just over three minutes, the operator will move his boom into position and start digging. Let's jump ahead until when this starts. Here you can see the operator powering everything up and starting digging. As you can see, he's able to power up the machine using the wireless remote in his pocket. You can see by looking at the computer screen that both the water pump and the blower are in their powered up, turned on states. We're going to move to two times speed just to speed things up so you don't have to sit and watch this video for too long. How this machine digs is it uses high powered water moving through a specialized digging wand to blast apart the soil. The resulting slurry is then vacuumed up by the very powerful vacuum on board the truck through the dig tube that you're looking at right now. As you can see, this is a pretty fast way to dig, as the operator, just over a minute into the dig, has already sunk most of the five foot dig tube into the excavation. After just two minutes of digging, this hole is now finished. This 10 inch for by five foot hole would be perfect for setting pilings or doing utility locates in a precise location. In this situation, however, we are going to open up the hole for a bigger excavation. The operator starts this process by positioning his dig tube at the bottom of the starting hole and then digging a trench around 
where he wants to excavate. By positioning his dig tube at the bottom of the excavation and washing the slurry down the trench, he is able to dig without using his boom to move his dig tube. Although this is not the fastest way to dig, it is convenient when you are operating the machine with just one operator. This allows the single operator to focus on the wash wand or the dig wand that shoots the high pressured water while not worrying about moving his boom. We will watch the operator dig here for another minute or so before jumping ahead to see how big of a hole he is able to dig in a short period of time. As you can see, eight minutes later, the operator has opened up a rather large excavation. We have skipped ahead to this location so that you can see exactly the technique the operator is using to knock off large chunks of soil. He starts by digging a trench around this chunk of soil and then cutting it into more manageable pieces and knocking those pieces into the excavation for them to be sucked up by the powerful vacuum system. Another three minutes later and the excavation is finished. The operator is now sucking up the last little bit of water and mud that is in the bottom of the excavation before shutting down the machine and washing off his boom. Total dig time of this hole was 18 minutes for a hole size of 4 feet by 4 feet by 5 feet deep. You can see on the measuring tape these, the verification of these measurements. With the digging now finished, the operator is moving on to cleaning his dig tube so he can stow it and move on to the dump site. As you can see, the wash wand works by spinning very quickly with a powerful jet of water. This is how it digs. By spinning quickly like this, if it ever contacts an underground utility, it is only contact with it for a very short amount of time, thereby minimizing the risk of damage. Now we move on to dumping. The operator, in this case, has backed up the excavation that he dug earlier. Normally, what he would do is move to a remote location to dump the load. Because he wants to dump as precisely as possible and get most of the mud back into the hole, he is starting by just opening his lift gate a little bit. If you were dumping at a location where you did not care if the mud ended up in a precise location, the operator would just open the tailgate and let the mud fly out. In this situation, he's emptying a little bit more slowly. With, with most of the mud now extracted from the tank, he opens the lift gate fully and turns on the onboard water jets to blast out the remainder of the mud. Now we move on to digging without water. In certain types of soil, the smart bag has a powerful enough vacuum to dig without using any water at all. To dig in these situations, the operator turns the vacuum onto maximum power and uses the boom 
to force the dig tube into the soil. This allows the edge of the dig tube to knock the soil loose and cut it, and the vacuum does the rest of the work by sucking up the remaining loose soil. Three minutes later, you can see that we've opened up a reasonable size excavation. As you can see at actual speed here, this is exactly how the dig tube is working. The operator is forcing it down with the boom, cutting away chunks of soil, and then the vacuum sucks away the rest. Four minutes later, and the operator is finished digging. He's going to pull his boom out of the hole and then jump in himself to show you just how big of a hole he was able to dig in nine minutes. As you can see, in nine minutes, using no water at all, the operator was able to dig a hole large enough to fit most of his body with a large perimeter around it. This is just how powerful the vacuum system is on board the SmartVac. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching, and if you would like more information, please contact a member of the SmartVac team, or visit us at our website at www.smartvac.ca.